Hey guys, it's JNT Gaming here. Also, we are being, I would say joined, but it's not joined. It's in partnership with R&D Gaming. Also, uh, at the moment, as you can see, the ship in front of you at the moment is the RMS Empress of France. It is the 1914 version to the 1928. There is subtle differences in between each Empress as you can see with that Empress there to this Empress here um, as you can see the colour layout, portal layout, anchoring system, deck layout, um, pipe funnel layout, all that um, big shout out to also Dale and Ryan for help, helping no end with this ship um, Dial was mainly concentrated on the deck systems and a few other little things. I can't be 100% on what, but yeah, he has quite helped quite a bit on this. And I think he's helped someone rigging as well. I ain't 100%, yeah, but he's helped someone rigging as well. Um, believe it or not, a couple of days ago, this ship was on here about, ooh, gold, so we're in about three layers high. Um, but yeah, we built this up from technically scratch. There is no tutorials out there for this this ship and the fleet of the Empresses. There is no tutorials out there whatsoever. As you can see, my system's been a donk as usual. But anyway, as you can see with this ship, it is absolutely ginormous. Uh, with the funnels also as well uh, yeah she is quite big um, also with lifeboats as well I have never done so many lifeboats in all my life but yeah there there was quite a bit of lifeboats on on this ship at all there was trust me um, such as like the pattern also let me just go down here if my system lets me uh, the pattern on the side, which is also correct to this ship on the funnels. I don't know if you can see that there, it's like a checkered pattern. Um, Ryan and myself will come up with that. Um, as you can see, with all the rigging, all the pipe work, also as well. That took god knows how long to do, but we got there. I think in total, I think this ship took about three to four days to build. Uh, usually, if we was pushing, we'd do it in, oh geez, say around about a day, maybe two days, around about that. As you can see, it's a complete redesign of everything what was to the ship. Um, it's all to us. It is, you know, it is our design. So, yeah, guys, if you do want to learn um, on how to do anything like this, please do let us know also. Uh, because we will like you know help you guys out if you do need it uh, as you can see the intricacy with the pipe where by that one by the first funnel where the it's mad with the amount of uh, detail and what's gone into this I would say she gives that ship a run for her money but mm, I don't know this could have it I don't know let me let me know what you think guys also as well uh, sorry again about the camera jitter it's just I think I've got a bit of a bug on my system but hey ho yeah <laughs> as you can see with the amount of um, ooh, the interior layout also as well uh, we had to do a little adjustments here a little adjustments there but yeah you can see guys we don't play about with the detailing with these ships at all, we don't. Um, such as like Dale and Ryan, uh, the detailing, what they put into their ships is unbelievable. I mean, one day I will show you like their ships because they do need recognition because their ships are absolutely beautiful. And um, you know, some of their ships, they are warships, so you know, guys, but some of their ships at the moment, they are stunning. You do need to see their ships, they are stunning. As you can see with the interest with this glass work here, uh, the glass work is awesome. I can't say more about it really. She is an awesome ship. 
Um, yeah, bit of a natty design also for the back as well with uh, this. With the, uh, as you've seen, with all the design there. Um, the design there also as well. That actually goes on to the bottom also. Uh, let me just come out here. The torso goes on to the bottom also there. There is some structure in this ship. But, um, yeah, guys. I'm not going to fully go into it because my system, as you can see, it's been a bit of a numped. But, yeah. As you can see there, guys. Yeah, I don't know you can roughly see it, but, yeah. I'll throw some lights on for you. But, yeah. Um, we, as I said, we do work incredibly hard on these ships. I can't say that we don't. Because... We do. Hmm. Speed? No. I need a bit of night vision. Oh yeah. That's for a bit of light on too. Yeah. As you can see there. With this layout also as well. There will be interior on this ship eventually. But. You know. As you can see there. We have started on her. But I think our next ship. Um, I think we're going to step. Come away from the Empresses a bit. And I think we're going to switch it to um, the Oceanic 3, I think. I ain't 100% yet. But um, there is another ship in the pipeline where I'm not releasing the name of that yet. Because um, I know uh, Little Dale's working on one. And we're also going to be working on one. But it's going to be a modern day cruise ship. So we are looking towards that sort of area at the moment to go. But as you can see, yeah, guys, this has been the Empress of France. I've been Jay from Genesee Gaming, and big thank you to Ryan and Dale, which is R&D Gaming. Um, yeah, guys, as you can see, keep tuned and keep pressing like and comment away if you've got any questions. Anyway, guys, peace. I'm out of here. Sorry for the glitch.